Elrond and Galadriel set out for a region in The Rings of Power Season 2, Episode 4, and the conclusion of Eldest forces Galadriel to leave their company in order to take on Adar's army of orcs. Galadriel may have made a selfless sacrifice by doing this, but Elrond points out an intriguing aspect of her choice. She isn't coming back to save the other elves, he informs them. Galadriel gives Elrond her ring of power, but Elrond thinks she's more concerned with keeping it safe than fighting the army of orcs. Galadriel defends herself against the orcs, who attack her with remarkable bravery, regardless of her true motivations. Although they would be happy to murder her, their master seems to have other ideas for the heroine of the Rings of Power. Galadriel reunites with Adar, the antagonist of the Rings of Power, following her fall from her horse. Galadriel almost shoots Adar with a fiery arrow, but Adar seems happy to see her. He tells her, A star shines on the hour of our meeting. While viewers may find this confusing, The Rings of Power Season 2 teases an alliance between the two characters. At the end of The Rings of Power Season 2, Episode 4, the elves think Galadriel is giving up her life, but the conclusion of the episode points to a different direction for her. Adar's welcome isn't nearly as hostile as you might expect, especially considering what happened during their first encounter in Season 1 of The Rings of Power. Although Galadriel is unlikely to warm up to the villain immediately, he nevertheless makes a nice approach. Additionally, we can infer from the second season trailer of The Rings of Power that the two will join forces. The meeting between Adar and Galadriel in Eldest is the first step in this direction, but Galadriel may need some time to warm up to this alliance. Adar informs Galadriel that their shared enemy is revealed in the trailer for The Rings of Power Season 2. Perhaps Galadriel will give in to Adar's request out of her desperate attempt to make up for her mistakes with Sauron. This would be the second time a villain from Rings of Power uses Galadriel's objectives to manipulate her. It is evident that Galadriel and Adar will work together in the upcoming episodes, as the teaser also features footage of them standing in front of an army. Galadriel's alliance with Adar will probably be her second grave error in the Rings of Power. Of course, the first is succumbing to Sauron's trickery. In the first season of the Rings of Power, Galadriel is too eager to put her trust in Halbrand, and in the second installment, she keeps giving in to his manipulation. Galadriel is adamant that Halbrand use the three rings he makes with Celebrimbor, even though she knows he is Sauron. It's pretty clear from the series that these rings are already warping her and the other elves' perceptions. Adar may have a similar enemy to Galadriel, but that doesn't change the fact that he is a villain with self-serving goals. The conclusion of Rings of Power Season 1 is more than sufficient evidence that Adar is not to be trusted. Galadriel and her people might suffer if they collaborate with him unless she has a secret agenda. The needs of the orcs will come first for Adar, and any partnership's immediate benefits probably won't outweigh the long-term costs of advancing Adar's objectives. Galadriel is willing to work with Adar, despite the fact that he doesn't seem trustworthy in The Rings of Power Season 2. This is explained by his past. Galadriel might have a kinship connection with Adar because he was once an elf himself. If nothing else, she most likely understands his situation. Adar only turns into an orc instead of an elf because of Morgoth's suffering. Adar also has the physical characteristics of an elf in contrast to the other orcs in Season 2 of The Rings of Power. This reminds us of his beginnings and emphasizes the parallels between him and Galadriel. And Adar and Galadriel have more than just Sauron as an enemy. Galadriel lost her brother to Sauron's former master, just as Adar suffered at the hands of Morgoth. The two are not only connected by their shared elven ancestry, they have also endured suffering and loss as a result of Morgoth's rule during the First Age. Though it seems clear that their alliance will end there, this common ground may be part of the reason they're willing to face Sauron together.
Since Sauron is a skilled manipulator in J.R.R. Tolkien's books, it makes sense that he uses the Rings of Power Season 2 to subjugate a number of characters. Galadriel is clearly under the villain's influence from the start of this adventure. Even before he makes the rings, Halbrand worms his way into Galadriel's thoughts by winning her trust in the Rings of Power, Season 1. The betrayal hurts Galadriel so much that she is desperate to make amends, and the High King is unsure if she can handle him alone. This has a direct bearing on her choice to work with Adar.